Membership is a great way to organize supporters and provide additional benefits based on actions they've taken or money they've donated. When a supporter takes action on your website, membership can be granted. This allows you to create an automated system for creating new paid and unpaid members. Membership can also be defined within a profile or via batch update. A membership type must be created before you can charge for membership, grant membership for taking action on your website, or add membership to a profile. Please note that memberships are only available to those on the team plan or above. Create a new membership type. Navigate to People, Memberships. Click on New Type. Enter a name for the membership. The name can be up to 50 characters long, including spaces. Singular is better than plural, for example, dog lover versus dog lovers, and there's no need to include the word member in the name. Enter a description of the membership. This can help other control panel users know when to use this membership. If you create a paid membership page, this description will also be displayed on your website. Decide on the default renewal page to connect to the membership. Expiring and expired members will be directed to this page to renew their membership. The drop-down menu will allow you to choose from all pages on all sites within your nation. Since memberships can only be created or renewed on an action page, select an action page. You will also need to edit the settings within the action page you choose. If a default renewal page is not chosen, auto-response emails will not be sent. Decide when to warn members before expiration. This is the number of days before the expiration date that a member will receive an email letting them know their membership is about to expire. It will include a link to renew membership on the default renewal page. If you do not want to warn members, click on the X in both of the drop-down boxes. Allow grace period. The length of a membership is defined on action pages or when adding a membership to a profile. After a membership expires, a person can access members-only portions of your website during the grace period. If you do not want a grace period, click on the X in both of the drop-down boxes. Click the Add Membership button to create the membership. Once you've created a membership, you'll be taken to the edit page for the new membership. After creating a membership, you can update any of these options by going to People, More, Memberships, Types, and clicking on the name of the membership or edit next to it. Automate Membership Renewal. When a renewal page is defined, people will automatically receive an email when their membership is about to expire and again once it expires. This allows you to automate the membership renewal process. You can customize these emails and you can also choose not to send them. Go to People, Memberships, and Types. Click the Edit button or the name of the membership you'd like to edit. You'll be taken to the Settings section of the membership type. Click on Auto Responses. There are three auto responses that can be enabled and are fully customizable. If a membership renewal page is not defined, none of these emails will be sent. Expiration warning. This is sent before membership expires, relative to the date defined in the settings section of the membership type. Expired. This email is sent when the membership has expired and encourages the member to renew. Failed payment. This one is sent when your payment processor is unable to complete an installment payment or recurring donation associated with a paid membership. When a failed payment occurs, the membership expires and no other membership autoresponse emails are sent. If you check the box next to automatically send this email, a member will not be notified when their membership status changes. If you made any changes, be sure to click Save Autoresponse Email. Grant Membership for Taking Action on a Website Almost all action pages can grant membership. The expiration date set in the action page settings is a date relative to when the supporter takes the action. A donation page can grant one type of membership. If your organization has multiple levels of paid membership, each level must be connected to a separate donation page. If you are comfortable editing page templates, you can create a page offering multiple paid memberships. Export Memberships Membership data can be exported by membership type. At this time, it is not possible to export a person and all of their memberships. You can export membership information by going to People, Memberships, Types, clicking on a specific membership type, and selecting Download CSV. The CSV will automatically start to download at the bottom of your browser window.